information to write thermochemical equations. Thermochemical equations, thermo means heat, chemical means chemicals. Thermochemical equations have the enthalpy change as part of the equation. Now, because we're looking at energy changes, it's critical that we include the subscripts for physical states. So let's look at a typical equation. We have uh, nitrogen reacting with hydrogen gas to give us two ammonia gas. And we write at the end, delta H0 is negative 92.38 kilojoules. So this is just some additional information that gets written down at the end of the equation. This is not listed as a product because there's no little plus sign in there. Okay, it's just listed next to the equation. And we can now use this information as a conversion factor in our calculations. So we could look at this and say, um, one mole of nitrogen is three moles of hydrogen. We're used to that kind of conversion. Now we can look at this and say, well, one mole of nitrogen gas gives me negative 92.38 kilojoules. So we can use this information about the heat or the enthalpy change as a conversion factor as well. Or I could say negative 92.38 kilojoules is released for two moles of ammonia gas. So that's one thing we can do with this information from thermochemical equations. Uh, the next thing that we can do with these crazy thermochemical equations is to start manipulating them, turning them around, um, adding them together, multiplying them. We introduced the concept of manipulating equations when we were balancing redox equations. We multiplied half reactions by a coefficient to make something cancel out. We can do the same thing with thermochemical equations. So if we reverse the equation, we take our original chemistry up here and we turn it around. Now instead of making ammonia, I'm going to start with two ammonia gas and I'm going to allow that to break down into nitrogen gas plus three hydrogen gas. Now, I still have this enthalpy term, but because I turned the equation around, I changed the sign. So this is now positive 92.38 kilojoules. So, not at all. Like if I wrote 3H2 first and then N2, it doesn't matter at all. Okay, so we think about this. If I'm uh, moving around, if I walk from one end of the bench to the other, it takes a certain amount of energy. And if I go backwards at the same rate, I use the energy going in the opposite direction, right? I try not to change the potential energy of the computer by throwing it on the floor with my leash. <laughs> So all we do is change the sign when we turn things around. We can also multiply the equation by a coefficient. So now I'm going to take my original equation and I'll multiply it by 2. So I now have 2 nitrogen gas plus 6 hydrogen gas yields 4 ammonia gas. When I multiply it by 2, I multiply the enthalpy term as well term as well, so I get negative 184.76 kilojoules. And the last thing we can do is manipulate these thermochemical equations by adding them together. We already introduced this idea with half reactions, that we could add together all the reactants, all the products. We're going to add together the reactants and the products, and then we add together the enthalpies. So if I take this equation and just add it together, I take all the reactants, carbon solid plus one-half oxygen gas from the first equation. I'll add in the reactants from the second equation, carbon monoxide gas plus one-half O2 gas yields carbon monoxide gas from the first reaction, plus CO2 gas from the second. And now I add together the enthalpy terms. Delta H0 is equal to 
negative 393.5 kilojoules. Now, once I've added them together, I see if anything cancels. I have one mole of carbon monoxide gas on each side, so I can cancel it. What? Negative 393.5. Now I have two half moles of oxygen, so I can add those together. So carbon solid plus O2 gas yields CO2 gas. Delta H0 is negative 393.5 kilojoules. So we're doing the same kind of thing we did previously, adding equations together to, um, to find out the heat. Before, we just added them together to find out what the chemistry was. So all of this is going to be useful for us when we do Hess's Law problems. Now, if you flip to the next page, I have two equations. Just go ahead and add those together and tell me what you get for the enthalpy. Negative 